So we've been spending our gold. And there are some people who need some reminder of who they are. Uh, and what they should do. Don't care. People are joining a defensive pact against us like crazy because, well, we are a little bit threatening. It's going down, though. One day people might look at us in a different light again. So let's make sure we got all the good upgrades going. Things are being built left and right, as it should be. Don't really want to spend too much. Our main holding can have everything, really. Or as much as we can afford, but all the other holdings, we are going to be a little bit more conservative with our money. Stonehill Fort, so... How do I upgrade you? Let's upgrade these with... Yeah, let's have a... Non-aggression pact with the Mali. How do I upgrade you? Upgrade to castle here. Let's upgrade these first so they turn into something once it becomes a castle. We have that at least. Uh, what's our priest doing? Burning apostates. Get him to convert in people. So I think the great pox is out here. Um, this is consumption, but well, there are a little bit more things. There's camp, camp fever down here, smallpox, slow fever, quite a bit going on. So maybe we should take another look at our own hospital and possibly upgrade that a little bit. Now it's already. Fully upgrade. We need to get into construction and stuff like that eventually. But for now, we'll build what's sensibly possible. Castle Town, definitely. Build this. Uh, yeah, we could upgrade from a tribe to a castle, but we don't want to do that just yet. What are you people scheming? Plots. Let's see if there's anything we should worry about. Oh, they want to kill our son. He's very sick anyway, so... Nothing to worry about. Right just this moment. Really. I'm just hoping I can get uh, another law change in, in this lifetime, because we can abolish in just four more years. That would be quite lovely. Lovely indeed. I don't know exactly why you might want to build hospitals in different areas. But... Well, it protects against depopulation. Let's build them at least in our main holdings that we want to keep and hold. Might be very useful to have these. And yet, we still have the money, so... Oh, look, a learned Jewish man has arrived at our court. Shall go hunt once more. My daughter has already died. Wait. Wasn't she the queen of Austra... That's a shame. Why is he in Iceland? Ah. Have some. Ah, let's let's arrange a betrothal here between him and one of our girls. We can get the blood back in the family. Now, doesn't want to. <laughs> Shame. We might have to kill him. And get him back. The family with my niece. That doesn't really matter. We just need 
a girl of our bloodline. <laughs> See if we can't find someone young. There we go. What are you? A niece? Why wouldn't they be of my dynasty? She's of my dynasty. I'm a little bit confused. Oh well, doesn't matter, but I have a feeling that she was... Oh, she died on, on the battlefield. Oh, that's a... That's an okay reason to die. Beardy was, was maybe killed. That wouldn't have been as acceptable. What is this? Stonehenge? Where is Stonehenge? Alright, okay, people are being converted. Where where is this? Could rename it. We could start looting it. Might yield treasures. Where is it? There it is. Stonehenge. Let's go loot it. I didn't know that was an option. Let's see what happens. As people see my men starting to tear down the unfinished Stonehenge, they become upset. Um... Well, let's have some have some guards posted as we loot. All right, more knights' castles are going up. We still have not found our prey yet. Stables were built. On here? No. One of these. Nope. And this one. Right. We go by cost, really. We, we take the lowest potential financial impact that we can before we go for the higher priced versions but we are a very attractive target for looting oh now he recreates the title that he has destroyed after I gave it to him ay 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 all right sure I have a non-aggression pact always a nice thing to do Not really upgrade anything cheap anymore. I don't want to spend so much. But more horses are not the worst thing in the world either. Oh! Commerce in Ulmerheim grows. A number of Jewish merchants have requested permission to settle their families in one of the towns so they can manage their business more effectively. Most likely. Alright. So we would lose a bunch of gold, a, lot, a bunch of piety, but get a city tax, which doesn't really matter all that much. Well, we get 41 gold from here. Is that true? Now. What is the name of this? Hathir Dun Yaskai. Alright. Sure. So we get 1450 from this. Another 25% for this. Unless we build another city, which we're not gonna. Doesn't really work. So we're not. 
going to go for this. But I like that you can attract these permanent modifiers to your lands now. That's really cool. All right, we've converted the populace up here. Let's continue cleaning our lands. Oh, 953, I think. But we could do some realm thing. We could say investiture is free. But do we need it? Really? Don't really need this. Let's check. Build everything up to at least level 2. And then we upgrade it to a castle. And these... Castle Worlds 2 needs more... Technology. So how technology works is basically... I've never really looked into this. But if we look over here... And let's have castle infrastructure show up on the map. You can see that we have this white spot down here. So we have the most advanced castle infrastructure in the world. And if you look on, on this, as we have it on and we hover over these, you can see how they change for county to county. Which is something to keep in mind if you ever want to switch your capital because your technology level is going to go down based on where you go to. So even if a place like Paris would be super attractive to settle in, we would lose a bunch of technology. Uh, so it, it becomes less attractive immediately because we would lose a bunch of military organization and everything. So not really worthwhile. We'll keep to this place and just build it up further. But it is something to keep in mind, definitely. This man has done quite well for himself and the dynasty as well. I'm impressed. Let's check our inbred silly son. <laughs> he doesn't have gold. He's losing gold. Pirates have been... Oh yeah. These just happen sometimes with people you're allied with. So you get a chance to antagonize them or... Maybe the alliance break and stuff like that. Okay. He lies. We don't care about the pack. It can go away. Have her be educated. The peasants in Ermerheim spend a long time on the road. Right. We could get a little bit of piety out of it. We don't really need it. So we're not going to go for that. Don't really care for this as well. All we care for is changing one more law in our lifetime. Becoming an absolute ruler. That would be lovely. Maybe our son dies before. He's terrible. He's absolutely terrible. Prestige, piety... Minus 58 personal combat skill. He's an imbecile and one-legged. He's lunatic and has a great pox. He's stressed. He's just overall... He's absolutely atrocious. What we could do, of course, uh, since he is... Okay, they have... We want to take over in Austrasia. Therefore, they can do whatever they want over there. You're not of my family anyway. Neither are you. Well, you are kind of, but you're not of my dynasty, so I don't care. And you didn't want the alliance I offered, so there you go. That's what you get. Won't build anything here or here. Oh, perfect. This guy's doing God's work quite literally. Finally, one of those priests doing his job. Satisfactory. Oh! We 
could denounce our son as a witch. And that way we could imprison him and kill him. And skip him. Okay. Let's see. We have a 1% chance of succeeding in that. I don't really want to fight him. The Kinslayer. Who did you kill? Who did you kill? Kill this brother. Playing him is not going to be nice. He's a bit better. And he's next in line. We need to take out our son. We're getting to the age where we need to take care of these things. Where we need to think ahead. For future generations. What war are you currently in my friend? Who are you fighting? Some revolt. Which is where? It's there. Can beat that. All right. Let's imprison him. Let's try at least. No one will care. And he has risen up in revolt against us, which that was to be expected. Doesn't bring too many troops to the battle, so I think our vassals should take care of this one. Raise some there. Doesn't matter. Let's raise our fleets as well. Wow, we have so many ships now. <laughs> Crazy. Alright, you get on the boat and you go down here. There's no one getting on the boat here. We don't need these boats. You get on a boat and go down here. Go on a boat and go here. You go on a boat and go here. Why am I not using the shortcut? Uh, embark, go here. Embark, go here. Embark, go here. Embark, go here. Can't embark. You just wait. You embark and go here. More embarkation. All the embarkation. You just go here. Can you embark on something? No. Can you? Can you? Oh yeah, you can embark. Alright, everyone else here kind of just walks down there. Including you guys, you're not going to embark on anything either. Who embark? We're not going to take our own troops at all. This will all be vassal armies. And he can go down there. Walk over here. Right. Oh, I don't believe we need those ships, but we're just going to send them for a moment. Get everyone lined up. Capture the witch that is our son. Embark all our troops. Did we just lose? I think he killed some troops standing there. Alright, we have enough. We don't need these. So let's... Where should we land? Here. 
now. Let's land here. And check our armies. Rough terrain expert. Good. To keep that in mind. Don't have any flankers anywhere. But we have an impaler. He's pretty good, but he's too low. Do you have any great use? That rough terrain? Sadly, it is not. Okay, we need to move immediately because we're having heavy, heavy attrition here. Might not even be that heavy, but... Well, we're having attrition, so we're gonna move. <laughs> That's how we do this. Alright, my brother-in-law weaseled his way onto my council. Let's see. Lots of loyalists still. All fine. Well. Okay. Did we just lose that commander? I think we did. That's a shame. Alright, we need a regent because that was our son before. Let's have it be her. Why not? And another commander. Ooh. Ooh, hello. It's great. Going to serve us very well. Right. Get him on this flank. Now we shall siege Paris. Always go for the capital. He's running there anyway, and we want to try and catch his armies. I'm not entirely sure what they choose the path on, but it might be trying to get through counties that have the most supply and are not enemy county. So his troops are there. We wait for him to lock in, and then we jump in right here again. Keep fighting him so he doesn't get a chance of reprieve. Okay, we captured some not really noteworthy person. What the hell? How did that happen? How did he siege this? Oh well. Got a few people to ransom already. Let's take care of that. A little bit of money to be made. And we move our troops back in position. Right. Everyone else, honestly. We could banish them. Maybe get a little bit of money out of them like that. Yeah, let's do that. We banish only those that give us money and everyone else gets to die. We take everything. Every little bit helps the realm. And now for some mass execution. Oh. Okay, fine. People are not going to like that. So no mass executions. You shall be spared. So building here is done. Keep building. Well, we have completely destroyed Stonehenge. For a measly 300 gold. That was not sensible. Ah. Uh, ah, we don't want his stuff. We don't care. We need some pagan symbols. It's not the worst thing to destroy them. I think there are some opportunities, opportunists popping up around here. 
trying to take advantage of my war with my son. The witch! The witch of France. Oh! Yes, hello there. I would like to have a dog, thank you. My dear, thank you very much. And he shall be called Faithful, as we are the Sword of the Blessed Virgin. Let's see how our witch hunt goes in the end.